Discord. Ring, ring. Hey, hello. Hi, is this Mark? Yeah, sure he is. Hi, Mark. This is Ron calling from Core Gordon's Remote Closer Program. How are you doing today, man? Doing great. Hope you are. Oh, I always am doing great, man. Thank you so much for saying that. Anyway, Mark, I saw that you responded to one of our ads about becoming a remote closer. Do you remember doing that? Yeah, I saw. I saw. Um, I didn't get to see the whole thing. It got cut off, but I, I saw part of the uh, of the video. Okay, so I saw part of the video. Okay, cool. So, Mark, if you just had a few minutes, I'm just calling you to touch base, just see if I can offer you any type of help and point you in the right direction. Do you have a couple minutes? Absolutely. Okay, Mark. So the best place to start usually is just, I'm just kind of curious, what caught your eye about the ad? Really, it was the two words, remote closing. I've, uh, I've done a lot of trainings about real estate and the, everybody always says the ultimate role is sales and that's uh that's probably what i'm weakest in okay. and then remote the word remote and i said Man, i just got a good vibe and when i get a vibe or a feeling um i go with it i don't i try not to let anything stop me okay so you got a vibe was there anything else beyond that vibe and feeling yes well it's it's what other people in trainings it's more unlimited you're not limited um you know, as far as your income and stuff. So it, it just gives you all the options that we're all searching for is all covered by that, it seemed like. So mm. it just seemed like the, a, a great thing to try. Okay, so a great thing to try. Okay. So, Mark, just so I can get a bit of context, you said you were in real estate. Well, well, that's my sideline. I've always, uh, that's always been my secondary. I've done heat and air since, uh, for 37 years. So I've always been in construction, but, um, I, I grew up poor, so and I've just in at a young age I've invested everything I can in the real estate. You know, I wasn't smart enough to learn from somebody. I did it myself, and then uh, in spring of 2020, COVID, I started actually studying people and getting mentors and trying to do stuff the right way. Okay. So just so I'm understanding, you've been doing real estate since 2020. What exactly do you do in real estate? Well, I just, you know, I bought my own home at maybe 21 years old, and then I bought my first rental property, and then uh, I bought some land, and then I've just added on. I keep um, buying more rental property. I'm, I'm naturally geared toward buying and hold. You know, uh, I, I grew up in scarcity, and buying and hold was naturally my thing, and then it, it's, it's actually worked out good. I'm I've made a lot of mistakes in real estate, but if you hold on to stuff long enough, it makes you look like you're real smart, you know, <laughs> so it all works out. So how many properties do you have right now? Cause you're just buying and holding. Uh, seven. I seven? had 10, wow. I had 10, but I was at my brokest. Um, you know, I was worth a lot of money on paper, but I said, something's not right. The more property I get, the broker I am. And that's when I started getting, uh, mentors and actually learning so i sold off some properties i invested the money in uh whole life insurance mm -hmm. um i started doing that and uh trying to trying to retrain my brain and starting to do stuff the right way trying to do stuff that scares me um stuff that i'm not good at so it's uh it's a complete mindset change really trying to change everything okay so a complete mindset change just so I get some context, you said right now you've invested in the whole life insurance, which I'm pretty familiar with that personally. That's a very, very smart move. And you said you're at your brokest. Uh, what did you mean by that? Well, I didn't understand cash flow. So we looked on paper. We're worth the most amount of money we've ever been worth. And we're absolutely the brokest. And I said, something's not right. And the uh, I told my wife, I said, maybe I don't know everything about real estate. I'm not going to tell you what she said, but, um, <laughs> but you know, I'm just doing it wrong. So, um, you know, it's about cash flow. I, I would have been better off owning nothing than having cash flow. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to retrain myself, fix one property at a time and um, get the proper cash flow. You know, I've even had empty, I got empty properties. For different reasons but um you know it's exhausting so on paper um i should be able to have the cash flow but 
it's going to take me long enough to have passive income where I could retire that I'm going to keep be working in heat and air. And uh, as I get older, my body's, you know, I'm losing my youth and uh, I'm starting to figure out that uh, I need to be also excelling in the white collar world, not just the blue collar world. So okay. it's, it's a whole mind shift change, really. Okay. So I guess when it comes to the heat and the air, how long have you been feeling that way? Um, you know, I guess five, seven years, I've started to slow down. And before mm -hmm. that, you know, I could, I could work my full-time job and then I would work my, I had a, I've had a SAG company, you know, and uh, I would work nights and weekends and I didn't need sleep and I was in good health. I'm still in great health, but I move slower, you know, it's mm -hmm. uh so you, you start figuring out that uh, I can't just, I, I've always been able to outwork people. And now I can't outwork everybody like I used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to start out thinking people. Um, okay. So then so, how much, I guess, how many more years or how much longer do you think you can continue with the HVAC? Well, I can do it. I'm just, um, you know, I'm purposefully staying out of management because management is so time consuming and that would take away from my, my passive income, my real estate, uh, stuff like that. So um, it, it's just about time management. So I can stay in real estate. I mean, I can stay in heat and air as long as possible, but um, I'm just capped on money uh, unless I go into management. But if you go into management, you you might as well be in business for yourself. You're just giving up too much of your time. And then mm. that would take away from my, my true passion, which is real estate. So mm -hmm. Um, it's just about choices, really. Okay. So I keep hearing you use this word cash flow. If you don't mind me asking, what would be like your ultimate goal? Um, you know, right now I'm making W-2 salary, 84000 a year, base salary, not counting overtime, you know, full benefits. And um, if I could get anywhere close to that where I could step away from that job and uh, – and put, you know, all my time into my real estate um, or into my, you know, another source of income. So the, the faster I can get out of this W-2 um, is the faster I can move into, uh, you know, really spending more time on my passive income and my other sources of income is okay. what is the way I look at it. Okay. Okay. So then how fast would you like to get out of like, you know, the other job and I guess build up your other thing so you don't have to work as an HVAC? Really, as soon as, as soon as I could get the, my new cash flow to support, you know, to, to make sure I can pay my all my bills. Um, and I've always looked at my credit is critical mm -hmm. since I like real estate. So it's really the sooner the better. As soon as I could replace it and feel comfortable replacing it, I would do it. Okay. So since I understand that, do you have any other goals? Um, I mean, just... Um, Really, I, I, I'm blessed. I, my house, you know, I've, I've built up. I, I got three houses side by side. Um, I got 35 acres all together. I love being in the woods. I love farming. Um, I'm working on getting a forestry, um, you know, where I get tax breaks on my land. I don't have to pay full taxes. So um, I, I play work. I plan on working to the day I pass. Um but it'd be a lot funner to work on my goals instead of my boss man's goals. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> so just so I'm clear on what your goals are, I have it just first off, being able to replace your current income, getting this forestry set up so you're tax-free and really diving into the real estate. Is there anything else at all? That, that, encompasses, that encompasses it completely right there. That would be the... If I got that going, that's my ultimate goals right there. Because mm. well, that that that's implying that I have wealth. That means I got time, health, money, um, everything, and that's that's all I desire really. No, I hear you, Mark. Definitely hear you. First off, um, I just want to thank you for you know really opening up and sharing all this information on me with me. It's very very valuable. It's super interesting. So I have a couple of different thoughts. Um, mind if I share those with you? Absolutely. That'd be great. Okay, so here's the thing, Mark. Um, 
hands down, you're a hardworking guy. You're very hardworking. Uh, you understand the importance of, you know, looking into other avenues and not just depending on one source. So I honestly think you would be great for being a remote closer. Now, I know with your goals in mind, you want to be able to retire, you want to replace this cash flow, and you want to work on this forestry. But your biggest thing I'm getting is that you really want to dive into the real estate because that's where you'll find you'll, you'll get your wealth and your freedom from. And to be honest with you, we've helped so many people in your same position who want to get in remote closing because they want to build up their income. They want that freedom, you know, they just want that peace of mind. So what I think will be best for you, Mark, is that I set you up with my man, Ty. He's one of our uh, coaches here. He can really just point you in the right direction, like really just lay out a framework and show you from A to Z logistically what that would look like for you to accomplish that goal. Is that something you'd be interested in? Absolutely. That sounds great. All right. I hope so, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have his calendar open here. What time zone are you in? Eastern. Eastern time. Okay. So how would tomorrow at, uh, what is it, 12 p.m. there for you work for you? Yeah, that would be perfect. All right. Awesome. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to shoot you over an email. Uh, can you just like that for me or hit the yes button? That way it pops up on Ty's calendar. He gets booked really fast. Yes, I just did. Awesome. So here's the thing. Uh, Mark, you seem like a really smart, self-taught guy. So what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot you over a uh, video. It's about like 10 minutes long. I want you to really study this video, take notes, and come to Ty with all the questions in the world, okay? Because I want you to make a very well-informed decision on this. Is that cool? Yes. Okay, and then after your talk with Ty, what's going to happen is I'm going to reach out to you by text just to kind of touch base and see how everything went, okay? That sounds perfect. I greatly appreciate your time and help. All right, man. So uh, last thing, is there any reason at all that you wouldn't be able to make it? No, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm breathing, I'll make it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You seem like a dedicated guy. All right, Mark. Well, hey, appreciate your time and uh, good luck on that call tomorrow. Thank you, sir. All right, bye.